So today I just wanted to speak about uh, Justin Fields. Okay. Uh, I watched your Jim Mora interview, and I mean, when a coach talks about a player, it makes a lot more sense. I mean, sure. Then yes. Yes. we, as fans, we always overanalyze things and come up with. Of what course, it is. But he just talked very simple and made a lot of sense. So he said one important thing about Justin Fields. He said that kid is a winner. Yes. So that is a really important aspect that we have to consider. Yes. Because uh, when you think about it, I mean, let's say he he was on a superb team. That's fine. But that means he knows how to be in a winning culture. Mm-hmm. When you are in a winning team, you always have that mental confidence. Yes. If you ask Patriots how did they won after being uh, down twenty eight to three, they will come up with thousands of reasons. But one thing is. they have done that before yes. and if inside they know they are eventually going to get it done mm-hmm. so that winning mentality is something hard to build it's a, it's a habit winning is a habit end of the day mm-hmm. i mean that's why matthew stafford is a good quarterback but he doesn't have that winning culture winning mentality mm-hmm. if you put matthew stafford and tom brady on the same situation tom brady would come up top oh yeah that's true and So that's the case. So only thing with Justin Fields is like that's true. But when you say that, when Jim Mora says that it's like every quarterback wins at Ohio State. JT Barrett won at Ohio State. Dwayne Haskins won at Ohio State. They all put up they all, they all throw 40 touchdown passes in a season. They win, they're Heisman finalists, they're in big games. So why is this guy going to be different? Is all is my, my only question. And I know he's uh more highly regarded coming out of high school, stronger arm, yada yada yada. I think it's fair to have some questions though. Yeah, that's true. But uh, my answer for that would be uh he has proved a lot uh, rather than other quarterbacks and Dwayne Haskins I think he would be good. He would be good in coming years. Mm. So uh the thing is now uh there is this medical situation that has come up as well on Justin Fields. Right. So I think he is the quarterback that has to prove most. I think that that is his hmm. strength. So he will be like okay, everyone is trying to throw me under the bus. Everyone yes. is throwing me different stuff. Yeah. He, he Focusing tried. on my negatives, not giving me any credit for the things I do well. All yes. of a sudden, I can't do anything right. Yeah. Yes. So I think uh if if you take top 5 quarterbacks out on this draft, this guy is going to be the uh one who is going to work hardest. The hardest. The yeah. one with the chair. Okay, real quick before you go. Who do you think is going to be the if one of these five quarterbacks drops on Thursday, which one will it be? Matt Jones. Ooh. And who <laughs> you think the Niners you think the Niners will I just feel like hey Kyle, if you want Matt Jones, let him go and get him up at the end of round 1. I mean, you can get him, you don't have to take him at, at number 3. It reminded me like when the Niners said they were going to take Reuben Foster at number 3, but decided they were going to take Solomon Thomas saying like, "Okay, you like Reuben Foster. You don't have to take him at number 3." He was yeah. there at the end of round one, and that was too yeah. early for him. But I have a quick answer. I, I'm on. Uh, I'm. I'm agreeing on wish on this. If Kyle, you want Mac Jones, don't care about anyone else. Go there, get him. But yeah. prove to us that you are a good yeah. coach and you can uh, develop. A yeah, that's prove it. to us that you're a good coach because I kind of feel like Niner fans are starting to lose a little confidence. Like you take <laughs> Mac Jones, man. I don't know. Like, well, well, all right, yeah. okay. Okay, right. we'll see.